Good afternoon, NYHS Kids students. This is a study 33B. Uh, check me in one, and um, we're going to start with a puzzle 41. Look, we have a rook and a knight attacking the black king. Check me in one move. Okay, hopefully you found this move. Knight of six, checkmate. Look, king is attacked and the knight is protecting the rook. Right, great. Let's go to the puzzle 42. Checkmate in one move. What do we have here? Let's see. This knight is really perfect on e6, right? So we need knight to d6. Checkmate. Look at this cool move. Four knights and the black king is checkmated. If the black knights are here, then the game would be a draw. Let's go to chapter 43. Okay. This one we had in a, in a, in a first uh, study. So... We just take on g7, checkmate, right? The bishop is protecting the queen. This one is easy. Let's see the next one. Puzzle 44. Okay, correct move here is rook to h3, checkmate. Pay attention how pawns on f6 and pawn on f7 are not helping us. King cannot run away, checkmate. Puzzle 45. Pay attention to the pieces. Attacking the black king. We have a bishop on d5. We have a rook on c1. The correct move is rook to h1. Checkmate. All right, king cannot run away to g8. Let's go to puzzle 46. We have a rook on b1, knight on f7, very important, because the knight is controlling h8 and h6. King is helping us. If you found this move, rook g1, it's the only check, right? checkmate. King cannot run away. Pay attention to that. Puzzle 47. What do we have here? We have a rook on a1, and we also have a knight on b6. Oh, sorry, knight on a4. But has to go to b6 for a checkmate, right? Look, checkmate. The pawn cannot take on b6 because a rook is on a1. So we call this in chess pin. So we are going to learn about pin very soon. Rook on a1 is pinning the pawn on a7. Pawn cannot capture because the black king would be rook. Now, this is called in chess smothered checkmate because the king is smothered with his own pieces and cannot move. Look at this one one more time. Really cool mate. Okay, let's go to puzzle number 48. We have a knight on f5. We also have a rook on h1 checkmate in one move okay hopefully you didn't play this move because if you play rook h8 king can capture you right many kids make mistake with this one so the the correct move is knight to e7 checkmate knight is checking the king and king cannot escape cannot go to h8 or h7 because the rook on h1 let's go to Puzzle 49. What do we have here? Oh, wow, you have only knight. Can we win this game only with a knight? And black has a queen? Come on, I don't believe that. Okay, correct move here is knight to g5. Check, mate. Again, look, black is smothered with his own chess pieces. It would be better for black not to have a queen here because king could run away. Checkmate. Look, there's no move. So that means you can win the game even if you are queen down. 
right? Okay, let's go to puzzle number 50. Let's first pay attention to all our chess pieces. We have a knight on d5. This knight can jump. We also have a bishop on c4 that can help us. We have a rook on f1 that can help us for a checkmate. So let's see now if you can find the move. Okay, let me help you. Rook f8 is not a checkmate because king can take. Now the question is, which one is a checkmate? Knight e7 or knight f6? Pay attention, both of them are double check. What is a double check? Check with the two pieces. So knight is checking the king and bishop is checking the king. When you have a double check, the only way to escape the check is to move your king. So let's see. If you play double check on e7, king can run away to h7. But if you play knight f6, this is a correct move. Double check with a bishop and a knight, and there is no space for black king to move. You cannot block the check. You cannot capture the knight. Checkmate. All right? Check it out one more time. Okay, let's go to puzzle 51. Again, whenever I look at the game, I ask myself, what are the pieces attacking the king? I have a bishop on c3, knight on f5. Maybe in some situations, rook can join us, right? Right now, you need only knight and a, and a bishop. Checkmate. If you found this move, knight h6, that would be a checkmate. Look, king cannot run away. Let's go to the next one. What do we have here? We have a rook on h3. Do you remember what is this rook doing to the black rook? The black rook cannot move. We call it in chess pin. Now, we have two moves to play here. G4 check or rook h4 check. Which one is checkmate? I know you are jumping now in your seats like play g4, g4, checkmate. Because the rook cannot capture the pawn, pin, pin. You see the king, black king is in check if the rook moves. Let's go to number 53. What do we do here? Again, what, what pieces do we have? We have a pawn, we have a king, and the bishop. Right, Those pieces are attacking the black king. Bishop can make a check. King cannot make a check, so <laughs> we are left with a pawn. I can't believe even pawns can checkmate. H6, checkmate. Boom. All right, checkmate. Let's go to the next one. Number 54. Okay, don't give up, stay with me. I know, we need to stay focused. Rook is on c7. Then we have pawn on f4, pawn on g5, and king is also helping us. Checkmate in one move. Five seconds, come on, let's go. I know you are thinking about rook g7, right? But that's not the checkmate. The checkmate is again with a pawn. F5. Look, king cannot escape. It cannot go down, right? Because the rook is controlling the seventh rank. Cannot capture any of the white pawns because the white king is protecting the pawns. Checkmate. Let's go to puzzle 55. Ooh, too many pieces here. I have no idea what's going on here. Can you help me? Okay, I see this bishop is very important here. Don't tell me again, it's a checkmate with a pawn. I can't believe this. Pawns can checkmate the king? Oh, come on, I can't believe this. Look at this, checkmate. Pawn to f6, checkmate, king is attacked. Cannot move, 
because this bishop here, right, and cannot capture the pawn because the, the bishop protecting, cannot go to f8 because the bishop checkmate. That's it. Let's go to the 56. Ooh, black has a queen. And you are telling me white is going to win this game? Oh, no. Okay, let's see what's going on. There is a knight on h6 and a rook on h1. You remember what we learned just a few puzzles before this one about double check. Look, double check mate. King is checked by the rook and by the knight. So king cannot move, right? And queen is not allowed to capture the knight or the rook, right? Because if you capture the rook, the knight is still checking the king. Checkmate, double checkmate. Double check is very dangerous. Usually leads into a checkmate. Let's go to puzzle 57. What do we have here? Oh, don't make mistake with this one. Because it's tricky. There are so many checks here. So let's see first. We have to analyze the pieces that we have. We have a bishop, a very important bishop on g1, rook on d1. Right? Now we have other pieces, rook on c2 and bishop on c4. Right? There are too many checks. There is a bishop b5 check. There is bishop f7 check. There is a rook e2 check. Right? All of them are wrong. The right one is rook to d8, checkmate. That's it, checkmate. So let's see now um, the puzzle 58. Ooh, we have two bishops in the center of the board. Bishops in the center are very powerful. Now, we also have a knight that can help us for checkmate. Which one is a checkmate here? You have two checks, bishop d5 and bishop h7. Which one is correct? Correct move is bishop h7, checkmate. Because if you play to d5, then rook can block. So bishop h7, checkmate. Puzzle 59. Again, what do we have? Bishop on f4 and bishop on e2. So there's only one check. I know you found this one easily, right? Bishop to a6, checkmate. King cannot escape, right? This is from a very famous game, right? King cannot go to b8, knight not to c7, checkmate. We're going to see this game later in, in our lessons. Puzzle number 60. We have a queen, we have a knight. Pay attention to this knight. Right? Blocking the king. King cannot escape. Cannot escape because the knight. So we just need a check, right? There is check queen h6 or queen h2. Which one is correct? I know you don't want to give your queen for free here, right? Queen h2. Checkmate. Let's go to puzzle. 61. Okay. Now we have bishop on b3 and we have knight on e5. Right? Those pieces are important because bishop is blocking the king. Of course, rook is very important too. Right on this line. So what is the checkmate here? I'm wondering if you're going to find this one. This one is a little bit harder. But if you find a move like this, then you understand the checkmate in one. Okay. The correct move is knight to g6. Right. Now, look, knight to g6 is check. King cannot go to g8 because the bishop. Pawn is not allowed to take the knight because a rook is pinning the pawn and the black king would be in checkmate. I hope you can see this. There's no other checkmate, right? Knight of seven would not be a checkmate. So let's go to next one, to 62. 
So we have here Rukun E1 and Queen on C4, right? So what do you think? Correct move. Rook to E8, checkmate, right? Because black rook cannot block. There is a pin. Queen is pinning the rook. See, on this diagonal, right? So the rook cannot move. Checkmate. Let's go to number 63. King is on F6. Rook is on F7. Knight on G7. Whew. Black king is kind of trapped there, right? The only question is, how do we checkmate him? We have a three checks. We could push the pawn, check. We can play with the bishop to c3, check. We can play bishop to h4, check. So which one is checkmate? Which one is correct one? Okay. Correct move is bishop to h4. Checkmate. Because king cannot move to e7, right? Checkmate. Okay. Let's go to number 64. Oh, here we have a rook and we have a pawn. So how do we checkmate here? Okay, I hope in uh, beginners level one, you learn about promotion, promoting the pawn. When a pawn gets to the other side, it becomes another piece. So here we can push the pawn and take a queen. Checkmate. Right. When pawn gets to the other side, you must replace that for pawn with another piece. Checkmate. Let's go to chapter number 65. I don't know this. Oh, I'm not sure. Uh, again, I got the same position, so I'm going to pause here. Okay, I'm back. Uh, puzzle 65. So we have a bishop on c3, very important, right? We have a pawn on h6, knight on g5 helping us. We also have a bishop on b5. So what's the checkmate here? Okay, correct move is pawn to h7, not bishop c4. Of course, it's nice to take the, bishop, the rook for free, but bishop c4, rook on f7 could block. I hope you can see that. So look, I take bishop c4, and then rook goes to f7, blocks the check. But after h7, you cannot block. Checkmate. Look, pawn checkmates the king. King cannot move to h8 or g7 because the bishop is on c3 and cannot go to f7 because the knight. Okay, let's go to puzzle 66. Again, whenever you see new positions, you have to analyze right look we have a queen and the rook pawn on e3 those are the pieces that can help us checkmate the black king black king is in the center of the board there is only one space the black king can move that's that's f6 so how do we checkmate the king yeah here there are many moves we could play correct one is queen h8 this is a checkmate Black king cannot escape. But let's analyze the others. If I play queen h2, then the king can run away to f6. If I take the rook, um, king can capture pawn, can capture queen, can capture. That's not a checkmate. So this is the correct one. Queen h8. Let's see the next one. 67. We have a pawn on g6. Whenever pawn uh, crosses to the other side, um, uh, it's very dangerous around the king, especially on the sixth rank. So it can help the queen for checkmate. We also have a rook here helping us. So those three pieces, queen, rook, and pawn, what is the checkmate here? Correct move is queen to h7. Remember this one. This one is very important because it happens so often in the chess games. Pawn supports the queen, and king cannot capture the pawn cannot escape okay let's see the next one 
puzzle 68. All three pieces are very important here. Rook on a7, pawn on d6, rook on f1. Checkmate in one move. Okay, hopefully you found d7. This is a checkmate. Look, a rook is supporting the pawn. The pawn is attacking the king, and a rook is blocking the king to go to f8 to f7. Okay, that's a checkmate. Hey kids, if I'm going too fast, you always can pause the video and give yourself more time. Let's go to next chapter. A rook is on f6. Now, the king is in the corner. Here it's easy, right? Only one check, rook, rook h6, and that's a checkmate. Let's go to number 70. Again, what do we have? We have a rook on f6, knight on d7, pawn on d2. Those three pieces are helping us. Look, pawn is blocking the king. There is only one check. Rook to d6, checkmate. Look, beautiful checkmate in the center of the chessboard. The king cannot escape. Okay, number 71. We have a bishops. Fine. Oh, this one is funny. Let's see if you're going to find this one. Okay, I hope it's enough time. The correct move is king to f7, checkmate. Bishop is discovered. This is called in chess, discovered, check. Look, bishop is attacking the king, and king cannot go to g8 and not h7. Checkmate. Let's go to 72. Bishop is spinning the knight. That's very important. The knight on f6 blocking the king to go to e8. Right. Can you find a checkmate here? Okay, correct move, rook to g8, checkmate. Knight cannot capture the rook because bishop is pinning the knight. King is in check. King cannot capture the rook because the knight on f6 is protecting the rook. Checkmate. So this is a beautiful checkmate. Nice one. Let's go to number 73. We had this one before. Um, I'm not sure if it's a, if a duplicate or a, uh, actually it's not the same because the knight was on b7, but it's the same checkmate. Knight goes to d6, checkmate. In the previous one, we had a knight on b7, so I'm not sure how this one ended up here. But anyway, knight d6 is a checkmate. Let's go to 74. We have a bishop on e5. We have a rook on g7. And this is also important checkmate because it happens all the time. It's discover check. So look, we move the rook, but we cannot move this way because the king can go to g8, right? But if he discover the bishop this way, then it's checkmate. Rook g6, checkmate, right? Look at that. Let's see 75. Stay focused, five more puzzles, and, and then we're gonna finish. So look, black is really winning. Black has a queen and two rooks, but see, it doesn't really matter that black has a queen up to the, the white can checkmate. We have a bishop and a rook. Rook goes to g7, checkmate. King is trapped. Let's see number 76. Pay attention to the pieces. Always analyze every piece on the chessboard. We have, first, what I see here are the pawns. G7 and F6, they are surrounding the king. That's very important. I, I noticed that immediately. Then I have this knight on F5, and I know the knight can jump, you know, and, and threaten the king. I also have a rook on H3. Those are the pieces that I see right now attacking the, the king. Rook on e1 and knight e2 really cannot help me. So now the question is, is knight h6 checkmate or knight e7 checkmate? Which one is correct? 
knight h6, right? Because if you play knight e7, queen can take you, or king can um, king can run away. So knight h6, black king trapped. Let's go to 77. This is up from famous game. It's called legal mate. Now, king is in the middle of the board. The bishop gave him a check, so he had to move. And look at this cool move. Let me see if you can find. It's not knight g6, because king can capture the bishop. It's knight d5. Checkmate. Now, look, look at the beautiness of this. Checkmate. Three pieces, knight and the bishop in the center of the board, surrounded the black king. Very nice, very beautiful. I really like this. And um, the reason that black lost the game is because he did not move his pieces. Look at the rook on h8. Knights, knights are not developed. If the knights are not uh, playing, then the king is weak. So king is not protected. Checkmate. Very nice one. I like this one. Let's go to 78. Okay. We have rook on c7, very important. Pinning the, the pawn. That means this pawn cannot move. We have a rook on f6, pawn on g5. Those are the pieces that can help you for a checkmate. So which one is a checkmate? Pawn to g6 or rook to h6. The correct one is rook to h6 because pawn cannot capture the rook. There is this rook pinning. Checkmate. Right? Let's see number 79. Here we have a rook and a knight. Correct move is a knight to f7. Smother mate. Look, rook on e8 is pinning the queen. Queen is not allowed to take the knight because the king would be in check. Checkmate. Smother checkmate. And I think this is the last one. Number 80. We have a rook. We have a bishop. Now... In this case, the king is open, pushed pawn to h6, but this space is controlled with a bishop, so rook e8 is a checkmate, and king cannot escape. All right, checkmate. Hey, it's, we finished our uh, study 33b. Now, again, go back and do it one more time on your own, and perhaps even a second time on a piece of paper. So, look, you can do it on Lee Chess, in NY Chess Kids account, just find 33B and you are going to get this octopus puzzles and you can practice them. If you make a mistake, do it again, like here, play again. Uh, and then mom and dad can print um, the PDF file. There is a book, Checkmate in One, 200 puzzles there in that book on NY Chess Kids website. Print that and do it also on a piece of paper. If you can get checkmates in one, then it will be much easier when we do checkmates in two. Hey, I hope you enjoyed learning, studying chess with me and doing the puzzles, uh, checkmates in one. So I am going to see you in our uh, 33C, right? Okay, bye-bye. Have a nice day.